Hello everyone all around the world. I'm Jeff Teak. This is Auto Jeff Reviews. Thanks for hitting subscribe to my channel. This is the 2023 Volkswagen Tiguan. Tiguan is VW's best-selling model. We're going to walk all the way around it. Then we're going to see section by section so you can learn more about the exterior. Definitely the interior. There are lots of bells and whistles that you want to know about for sure. So what exactly are we looking at here at the park on a beautiful day in North Carolina? 58, 59 degrees, partly sunny. Hope it's beautiful where you are. So let's look around this one. This is the SELR line. It's one of four different trim levels. You can get the S, the SE, SER line black, and then you can get SELR line. This is the top of the food chain. You can go anywhere from 26,000 to 38.9, which is what this one is. It's well equipped, it's got lots of options, lots of fun bells, whistles, gadgets. You're gonna like it. Remember, we've got a review. And then we're going to drive it. And remember, it was famous philosopher Rihanna who once said, shut up and drive, drive, drive. And I think she was talking about this one right here. To help you, the viewer, I always try to give an exterior walk around and then an interior first look so that you can get an idea of what we're going to be talking about. It's difficult when I start just at the front end or the back end and you don't know what the whole car is all about. So we're definitely gonna be discussing this and absolutely talking about this. And you better believe we're gonna be talking about this. <sighs> this right here is a 2.0 liter four cylinder turbo engine. It produces 184 horsepower and 221 pound feet of torque. We're gonna to match this with an eight speed automatic transmission and four motion all wheel drive so that both the front and the rear can produce the best traction, the best grip on the road possible based on the conditions. And what else are we looking at here? Well, number one, it's got a big giant hood blanket here. It's got hydraulic lifts. No, wait a minute, it's got one lift. Look at this right here. This is really, really peculiar actually. Really cool though, because it's got one hydraulic lift, whoop, it's kind of off to the center. You're used to seeing hydraulic lifts on either side. No, not with VW, baby. One right here. Now, how does this ride? Well, it's got four wheel disc brakes, 13.4 inches in the front, 11.8 inches in the back. It has four wheel independent suspension. Now, this is key because when you ride in this vehicle, when you drive, it is so smooth. I noticed this from the very first time I sat in it, I drove in it, it's so smooth. Even on speed bumps, potholes and divots, it handles it like a champ, but it just, it really does glide. You feel like this car rides this smooth? This is one of those cars where the fuel tank door is on the passenger side. It's a 15.9 gallon fuel tank. And gas mileage, 21 in the city, 28 in the highway, 24 combined. Whatcha? Can one interior have so much going on? Well, Tiguan can because it's got these beautiful LED daytime running lights to match the LED lights. I love the swooshes right here, but it also has more, an integrated LED light bar. As my camera strobes, this is a solid light, LED baby, VW badge right there, LED all the way across, and we've got the R badging. They're real proud that this is the R line, right? So we're gonna show it. IQ light sweeps across, and then we've got gloss black accents all the way along here, mixed with chrome though. This is actually a real interesting design. It's got parking sensors on the front. You'll also notice a camera here. Well, because I told you there's a camera here, so that that way we can represent the all around camera. Ground clearance, 7.6 inches. And how about this Atlantic blue color? Atlantic blue metallic. I always love a good blue, and this is absolutely fantastic. It shines, it sparkles in the sun. Let me get up close and I'll see if I can show you around the profile. One thing I wanna show you about the profile, watch this. We can actually change the brightness of our blind spot. You can be dim, or you can be brighter. Look at that, you control it just this way. That's really a cool feature. All right, so let's get around here and you can see that it's got the turn signal right here. But not only that, it also has a little tiny turn signal right there so you can kind of see what's going on from the interior cabin. We've got this chrome and black R-Line. Nice, again, they're very proud of that. There's the turn signal in the front. Look at these wheels here. Very nice 20 inch wheels, gloss black of course with the VW logo. Like the gloss black and the metallic silver. It's 
it's quite nice. Then we've got down here a nice chrome accent. Again, this is the top of the line, so it's going to be some chrome going on. It's going to be some gloss black, and it's a good subtle use of everything. See, up top here, got silver. Then we've got chrome window accents. Big, tall windows. Look at that. They're tall. They're more elongated, I should say, but they feel big inside and really good visibility as we come around here. You'll have 1,500 pound tow capacity. Four motion, all wheel drive, LED tail light design here. And actually it's a really nice design. It's kind of stubby right here. It doesn't go all the way around. It's not aerodynamic like it sweeps in here to the side. No, but it's nice. We've got Tiguan right there, S-E-L and R line everywhere. Then we got some chrome here. We have these, we'll call them pseudo four exhaust ports. And then here we've got backup camera and a backup camera washer. Woo! Now we also have the hands-free power lift gate, right? That is mucho cool. There's up to 73.4 cubic feet in here whew, with the seats down, 37.6 with the seats up. We've got nice, thick, heavy, heavy tonneau cover right here. You can also lower the seats by holding those little levers and going wham! Joker, joker, joker. It's like slot machines at the casino, except for the seats go down. You can also raise the roof here, raise this up like that. So you got a flat surface or you can go down. I'm going down, down, down. So yeah, take a look in here. Boom. And they go down a little bit more than that. Boom. There you go. So they're not quite that slanted. No, they're not. But look, we've got room here. Got a little 12 volt circular Ugh, right there. That's very cool. Got tie downs for your luggage and your gear. Pop right there. Nice. So they make a good use of space and it's a tall storage area right here, but this is really tall. It's really good for backseat headroom. So see these seats can fold down just like so. You pop the lever. You can do that. I got to find the lever over here. We're going to pull it. Pull. All right. 38.7 inches of rear seat legroom. This is really solid here, my friends. And look how tall it is. That's really nice. So I can also use the lever to recline. It's more like a pull strap. Recline. That's nice. Can I do something else? Yeah, you bet I can. Watch this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holla. We can slide our seats forward and backward. Amazing. Now look at the use of the black with the white stitching, white piping. This isn't quite soft, but it's not super hard. This holds a lot. In other words, a big sport bottle would fit in there just fine. We have pockets. I like that. Pocket over there. They're real thin, but they could hold notebooks, notepads, iPads, I'm sure. We've got USB-C, 12 volt, rear air vents. I like that too. Easily marked child safety latches. And guess what? These seats are super comfortable. They're very soft. Oh la la, me likey. All right, look at that. These seats fold down in a 40, 20, 40 split. Very soft. I'd like to see these cup holders going this way so you can do an armrest right here, but that's fine. You got room here, room here. Yeah, not bad at all, my friends. Not bad at all. Plenty of room in the back seat. Whoa. Here's a good example of what you can do. You can fold down that middle one and now you've got more of an armrest. You can stack things up with people on either side. I can also just kind of pop it back up. There's the button right there. And class, as a refresher, we can look back here. I brought my pencil. So what about the sound quality? Well, it's Fender Premium Audio with, I love that logo right there. It's really cool. So classic. So premium, and it's got subwoofer. Look at this faux wood accent. It's actually really classy, and it's kind of subtle. It's not obnoxiously loud. There you go, nice armrest to put on, nice surface there. And I fit a big, giant Bojangles cup right here the other day. You can fit this all the way along here or down. So there is a lot of space. What about in here, though? Yeah, nice, big, big glove box, my friends. Look at this, we've got chrome surround on the vents. It's kind of interesting. Look at the seats, we've got this white piping here, heated and 
cooled seats, ventilation, my friends, panoramic roof, what? Then we've got memory seats on the driver's side, but what can we do here? That's the important one, right? We can twist it up and down. We can go sideways. And then the back of the seat, we can take that down as well. Over on the driver's side, oh man, it's getting bright here. Hope it's nice where you guys are. Look at this, we've got the trunk release right here. That's interesting. Then we've got the same amount of room, holds just a ton of space. Look at the sill. We've got that in gloss black. Love the paddles here, that is really cool. I got another cool feature to show you too. Three different positions for memory seats, that's nice. So we got three people in the family, three different heights, boom, we're all happy. Then we got lumbar support there. Just really nice, comfortable seats. I think you'll like them. All right, so over here, look at the lighting. Now we've got the lights on, auto lights, but over here, poor weather lights, you pull. That way it shows better or farther and a little bit brighter in case of adverse conditions. And we want to turn them off, boom, poor weather lights. Super cool. Now we've got different drive modes that we can talk about. You've got manual mode, so you can shift like you're driving a manual to be more involved, more control with your ride. We got the parking brake, park pilot right here, so you can park yourself perpendicular or parallel. This is the engine start stop that turns off and this is your different camera angles from your overhead. We've got snow mode, on road mode, which is normal, eco, sport. Then we've got off-road and off-road custom. So a lot going on here in deep cup holders. And this holds my camera equipment and my GoPro. Nice. So see, it's a deep, deep compartment there. It's not huge, but it's deep. Then we've got USB-C, so we gotta stay connected, right? And we're doing that here. What about this? Well, this is really cool because if I wanna be warmer, I swipe it this way. If I wanna be cooler, I swipe it this way. More air, okay. I swipe, really interesting stuff. We've got heated and cooled seats right there, but you can have them operate at the same time. So you could be heated and cooled going on. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go back to my room so we can talk about Tiguan and we can drive it all night. Now look at this here, steering wheel, 10.25 inch display here, that's the Digital Cockpit Pro. Look, I've got navigation all the way across there if I want it that way. Still get all my other information, like the digital road sign. We've got, look at that, we tell where we are. It's labeled zero miles per hour I'm going right now. We've got our trip, we've got, we're in park, but watch, if I want to change the view, I just do that. Just pop that in and I could change, look, we got Earth, Wind and Fire play in there. Fantasy might be their greatest song, in my opinion. But look, we've got a lot of different pieces of information about this fantastic safety system that we've got going on here. Let's keep changing it. So see, there's a lot that you can do here, and we're just gonna keep going and changing. Apple CarPlay, beautiful. Oh, and this is so clever, because if I want my heated steering wheel on, why would the control not be on my steering wheel? Boom, steering wheel heating on, holla. Why is the button over here or over here? It should be on the steering wheel. Good job, VW. Now look here, we've got eight inch screen here, Apple CarPlay, you can do wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, so much that you can do though. If I wanna change information, I can do off-road settings. If I'm in off-road mode, look at all the things you can do here. You can just change it to whichever one you wanna do. I can do digital cockpit, driving data, vehicle status. I can do settings for tires, lights, parking, ambient lighting. If I want to change my light strips right over here and look at the accent pieces here, you can change those as well. They change with the ambient lighting. So that is a really cool feature. You can also put it to automatic if you want to do that, but I like having control of that one. That's kind of fun. So parking and maneuvering, you can do your distance, you can do the pitch for backing up, for front, all that kind of stuff. Beep, 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 however you wanna do it. Look at this, open and closing. So a lot of adjustment that you can do. If you want the rear wiper to come on when you put it in reverse, well, you do that. Really interesting, and then our safety features. So 
I can change my adaptive cruise control features. I can do the blind spot. I can do the digital dynamic road sign display information. And up top here, we got kind of just a slim little mirror. It is auto dimming, just slim. Nothing special about the mirror itself. I'd like to see a little bit bigger one, but it is what it is. We've got light, light. Then you can do the pano roof, the shade for it, like that. We can open our panoramic roof. How far can we open it though? That's something we want to find out. The important things in life. That's it? Nope, it's not. It can go back more. So for a refresher, this is a 2.0 liter turbo four cylinder engine with an eight speed automatic transmission. My first impression, this is so smooth, so comfortable. It's really, really a nice ride and you feel it right from the very first time you sit in this vehicle. So that's really impressive and something to think about both at highway speeds and just low city speeds like this one. So this is not the fastest vehicle. It gets you 184 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque. I'm turning off the engine start and stop. I'm not a fan of it, but that's across all brands. I just like to turn that button off and it's right here. It's real easily marked, pretty cool stuff. So this car, I was told that, well, it's not the fastest vehicle, but I'll tell you what, it's faster starting off than you think. So see, that's not bad. Most of the time, people are not gonna be trying to beat somebody off the line or be the first person to that traffic light or to the ice cream store to get our strawberry cheesecake. Love that. But you know what? It does what it needs to. It can get you up a hill, it can pass traffic, it can pull out into highway traffic, it can pull out into tight traffic on a city street. So that's just something you wanna watch out for because it's not the fastest one. So just kind of be careful of that, but it's really smooth, it glides. Big fan. So look at these controls here, nice and easy to get to. The ergonomics are very nice. I can get to my swipe screen. I can do my Apple CarPlay, set up all this jazz, super simple. Let's see how it does accelerating up to more of a highway speed. We'll try to listen in as well. So I do hear just a little bit of wind noise over on the side mirrors. It's not a lot at all. It's not distracting by any means. The engine noise, once you're at your cruising speed, it's very quiet. Yeah, that's nice. And of course, with the Fender Premium System banging and bouncing around, you're not going to be hearing any of that wind noise. So that's something to think about here. I just like that it's real easy to do the controls. If I want to change my temperature, I can just swipe while I'm not looking. I can do heated seats, cooled seats, real simple. I like the fact that the independent suspension is forgiving of potholes and bumps or if I go off the road just a little bit. See, that's not bad at all. It's really smooth. You guys, it's a really nice ride. It's very impressive. Going around turns here. It can handle it just fine. It leans into the curve. Look at that. And as far as braking, they're not hard touchy brakes. They're a little bit on the, I'll call it medium to softer side, but they're, I mean, they're very effective. They're big brakes in the front. So all in all, Tiguan's a very comfortable ride. I love the seats. They're really nice. They've got decent bolstering right here. Actually, it's pretty good bolstering. I do feel kind of snuggled in there like uh, that snuggle fabric softener commercial. That's a weird analogy, but it is. Anyway, again, it just glides really comfortable. Not the fastest vehicle in the world, but I'm not sure it needs to be. I don't think people who are buying this are going to be fly off the line type of folks. What did you think about the features, the controls, things like that? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks, guys.
let's take a look at the window sticker so we can learn a little bit more. This is Atlantic Blue Metallic. Look at the Titan Black leather. Beautiful eight-speed automatic transmission with Tiptronic. That's the manual mode here. We've got 21, 28, 24. Let's look over here. Safety rating. Some of them are posted. Some of them are not available yet. So let's come over here to standard features. Try to do our best we can. It's kind of small. There we go. Just take a look at those. See if I can get a little closer. I don't think I can. So just stop the video if you want to learn a little bit more about it. Exterior performance interior and safety. Look at all of the safety features. There's so much involved here. Of course, VW is known for having tremendous safety and it's all listed right here. And then this one will be 37.6, but we do have delivery that comes with every vehicle. So VW calls it 38,975. Thanks for watching everybody. What do you think of Tiguan? Are you a fan? What features stood out to you? I've also done another video about the coolest technology, gadgets, trinkets, gizmos, features and systems. It's wild, you're gonna love it. Secret buttons, hidden features, you just gotta know where to look. So check that one out, but that'll be at the end of this video. Pop right in there. Thanks guys so much. I'm at Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. I'd love it if you follow me there. See you next time.